Hello and uh, welcome to Back Away From The Donkey or Back To Books as nobody is calling it. Uh, my name is Duncan and today I'm going to carry on with the um, Paperback Parade uh, hashtag. So this is number two. Uh, so it was created by the Booklectic and I will put her link down below. And the first one I did was on a Harry Harrison book and I'll put the link for that below it as well. Uh, with the wonderful art of Jim Burns on the cover. It's about celebrating book co uh, covers. It's The idea is we pick a book from uh, before 1990, uh, talk about the book cover, the artist and the book as well and any other background we can think about it. You know, a lot of modern covers are, you know, uh, digitally created or done very quickly. Uh, so there's not as many good book covers with great art on them as there used to be. Well, I don't think there is. I think from about 2000, it started to go a bit backwards. But anyway, the book I'm going to talk about today is Larry Niven and Stephen Barnes, Dreams Dream Park. So that I'll, this is my original Burt version I brought in about 80, 1982, 83. It is, I, don't there. I will actually um, do a photo of it on the screen. It is one of my favourite books. It's not the highest of literature, but I just find it fun. Uh, the art is done by Peter Jones, who did lots of um, role-playing game covers and uh, for role-playing game books around about the time. And that book, to me, really sums up the book, because the book is about real-life role-playing games. It's set in a, oh, sorry, obviously a set in a future part where people play live uh, role-playing games. Uh, it's all the technology is used like they have holograms and technology and stuff so that they actually fully experience the events and the book follows uh, a murder that happened outside and all this um, intrigue goes blind while they are playing the game and I said this book cover totally sums it up uh, I'll read the back of the book for you so you can read the synopsis so you get the idea they were all playing games, but one of them was playing for keeps. Chet Henderson was playing at revenge and to boost his flagging reputation as lawmaster. Richard Lopez was playing to prove that his earlier successes as game master were no fluke. Uh, Ollie and Gwen and Mary Emmett and Tony were playing because it made them feel alive. Alex Griffin was playing to protect Dream Park's darkest secret. In Dream Park, everybody plays, but if some win, some have to lose, and losing can be a matter of life or death. That's all exciting, but yeah. So it's quite, it's interesting in a way because they've created the way that you would play the live action role playing using holograms. Whereas obviously now people are thinking, oh, it should be um, virtual reality headsets and things like this. So it's quite interesting how what they predicted would happen. It went off in a different direction. But I said, there's a written book. I find it incredibly enjoyable. But the artwork, I said, Peter Jones, it's worth looking him up online. I'll, I'll see if I can put a link down to his website because he's got some beautiful, beautiful stuff. He did covers of um, some of the fighting fantasy books uh, from uh, Steve Jackson, wasn't it? Did fighting fantasy books, and they were really good. But to give it to link to my last paperback parade, I have another copy of this book. This is the first edition uh, US one. Okay, and the artwork on that is a Jim Burns piece. And if you saw my previous video, I love Jim Burns' artwork. That's part of the reason I picked this one up. So this was the American, the first edition of their paperback. And you see it goes all the way around. And that was the reason I picked it up, because it had a Jim Burns one on it. I don't think it's the best cover. I do prefer, as the covers, this Peter Jones one. I actually could might try, need to try and get hold of another copy of this book, because this one's been a bit battered through the years. It um, loosely survived the great um, book cull of the 1990s. But it managed to get battered along the way. And that's not me. That's because I lent it to somebody. Because I don't do that to my spines. But I do need to replace it at some point. But yeah, that is Peter Jones' book. And I said it's Larry Niven and Stephen Barnes. Two great writers. And Dream Park. There is two sequels to this book. Uh, the second one's The Bassoon Project. Which obviously by the name is set on Mars. And the third one. I cannot remember what it's called off the top of my head. The two sequels are not as good as this book, but it's one of these books that I always come back to, and I would put it down as one of my favourite books. 
and it's not because it's fantastic literature or it's better than everybody else it's just a book that just holds a lot of things it was when i was playing a lot of role playing games when i first read it and i said as i said the artwork for it totally encapsulates the book and that's why i love when covers when it's obvious that the artist has either read the book or spoken to the author or had really good summation of what the book is and to have the artwork come inside of it so yes that's my paper wrap parade number two uh i said i will continue this i might try next time to try and find something that's not science fiction or fantasy just to uh vary it up a little bit but we will see and so thank you very much for watching